Hi, this is Javed. Welcome to 5 minute class on center of gravity. So center of gravity is a point of a body through which resultant forces of all the particles of the body passes. So it is measured in length uh, from any reference point say O. Consider a random body having infinite number of particles m1, m2 and so on each having coordinates of x1, y1, x2, y2 from the reference point then center of gravity of that body can be determined by m1 plus x, m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus and so on divided by total mass of the body. Similarly, y coordinate and z coordinate of the body can be obtained. This is a very simple formula. Let us see one simple example of using this formula. Take two masses of 5 kg each uh, which are divided by a distance of 2 meters uh, and consider uh, origin uh, is passing through the left body of 5 kg uh, then m1 will be 5 kg and m2 will be 5 kg and then x1 will be 0 and x2 will be 2 meters then if we substitute in our formula then center of gravity comes at 1 meter. So the center of gravity will be exactly in the middle of two equal masses. Suppose the second mass is bigger 10 kg and then we, if we substitute the x1 as 1 and x2 as 2 and m1 m2 as 5 and 10 kg then center of gravity will be at 1.33 meters. So from this you can see the center of gravity will be closer to the heavier mass than the lighter mass. This is a simple thumb rule. For most of the calculations, we have to determine the center of gravity of the uniform lamina. So the center of gravity of the uniform lamina will be nothing but the geometric center of the lamina. So what is uniform lamina? It is nothing but uh, having a constant thickness and constant density throughout the area. So to obtain the centroid of the lamina, you can divide this uh, lamina into number of areas and each area is having its centroid at x1, y1 and x2, y2 and so on. So the centroid of the whole lamina can be determined by the formula a1, x1 plus a2, x2 divided by total area uh, and similarly y coordinate and uh, that's it. We will understand this with a simple example. Uh, consider a T-shaped lamina. So we can divide this lamina into two uh, <coughs> standard shapes of rectangle. So uh, the first uh, green shape uh, lamina is having an area of 2 by 15 uh, in square and the second yellow shape lamina is having an area of 20 uh, in square. Then <coughs> the centroid of this uh, total lamina will be passing through the y-axis because it is symmetric about y-axis uh, so the x-coordinate will be 0 uh, to determine y-coordinate uh, it is very simple a1 will be uh, 30 and y1 will be 1 inch it is exactly half of this one and uh, a2 will be 20 and uh, y2 will be 5 plus 2 that is 7 inch divided by total area 30 plus 20 so that we gives rise to the centroid of the lamina as 0 comma 3.4 inch so in this fashion you can divide any complex shape into simple geometries and you can obtain the centroid of the complex lamina uh, so <clears throat> we can remember a uh, few simple uh, centroids of the standard shapes for right angle triangle the centroid will be at a by 3 and b by 3 from the origin and for uh, semicircular shapes the centroid will be at 4 r by 3 pi distance from the origin if a circle then it is definitely 0 comma 0 and if it is a quarter circle then it will be 4 r by 3 pi comma 4 r by 3 pi from the origin thank you